Hey Tristan. Hi Briley. How are you? How are you doing, Macy? Good. Hey, wait. Hi. Hi, Ashley. The students at the junior high definitely have more independence. They have classes that they actually walk to during passing period. They have their electives that they look forward to. They have their lunch where they can sit with their friends. And we're trying to create this team community in the classroom. So we focus on these skills like communication and what it is to persevere and to be an advocate for ourselves and what that looks like, having responsibility. And we introduce that now because it is such a transitional time for them. on the check-in go to the canvas page for Monday we're gonna talk about it we'll talk about it in just a second I know that the module is huge today right yeah. it's a lot but we're not doing everything that's on here hey listen look at me being a sixth grade teacher is so fun the kids have high energy they come in enthusiastic they're still curious learners they're creative thinkers we have a lot of fun in class i always say learning can be messy it can be challenging but we need to have fun and they can do that when my students come in i want to greet them i want them to feel welcomed i want them to be able to come to me if they need me building those relationships in the very beginning of the year is extremely important building that foundation early on team building, making sure you're building those connections, making it also relatable in the classroom, talking with them, having real conversations. And they're honest. In junior high, they're very honest and they speak their mind and they tell you the truth and what's working and what's not. And so, yeah, building relationships is definitely important and it's something that's needed. And I feel like the school has a select amount of people with a good amount of kindness, but because their peers are also unkind, it spreads. And it's, it's not fun for anybody, even the people who spread it. I think I've, I've, heard, I've found some acts of kindness in school by um, going around the hallways, coming back from lunch, saying like, people giving the special education kids like high fives and the like, trash. Yeah, and Jack, and Jack and Owen. We all know how much I love that and how much I support inclusion. Social emotional learning, these are skills that students need in order to be successful inside and outside of the classroom. Students, they openly talk with each other. We talk about real life issues, um, really that pertain to them. And we talk about social media and how that can impact students. We talk about diversity and having an open mind and inclusiveness and being kind to others. We talk a lot about empathy and respect on our campus because we want students to respect each other and to treat each other kindly and to do that willingly. Connections is a time where we can get go around and connect and talk to each other and like it's a safe environment so nothing will ever get leaked out whenever we're talking. I feel very safe because I can really talk about whatever is on my chest and I can get a lot of stress and relief off. We share a lot with everybody because like you get to have great connections with each other and like I did I barely knew anybody in my connections class and now my friend Tristan, he's like my one of my best friends now. And we're like always honest to each other and it's a, and it's just a great time in general. We do lessons about being like caring and like nice to people and it's just things you can use in the real world and it makes me feel better. So I can just say something and then I feel like I'm not like holding it in anymore. You don't give to get back. You give because it's the right thing to do. Good, I like that. It's the right thing to do. How do you serve? Oh, I feel like serving others is important because it does make yourself feel good, but it also is making someone else's day. I can't tell you guys, you know a lot about Peyton, right? My daughter, and we went through a lot of adversities, and the community for me really stepped up. The day Peyton had her first open heart surgery, I wasn't working here at the time. And the entire staff, they dressed up in pink. 
and they sent me I know it kind of makes me choked up because I remember that day I was so scared and them coming together and supporting me and my family and my baby girl it was amazing and it just gives you that amazing feeling inside that you are cared for inclusiveness in my classroom is so important. I want students to feel supported and valued and accepted in the classroom. We talk a lot about diversity and uniqueness and how we should be celebrating each other's uniqueness because a world where everybody is the same, it's dull, it's boring, but when you have diversity and differences, you have color and brightness and it's beautiful. Do you know the difference between like larger works and smaller works, like when you underline and when you actually put it in quotes. Uh, no, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So oh, it's like, it's like quotations, like a poem. Yeah. So a okay. smaller piece of works would be like a poem. So I want parents to know that their child, they're coming to school supported, that they're valued in the classroom, that it is my role and other teachers' roles to make sure that they have a safe learning environment. When you have that in your classroom and you build that foundation. I mean, that's where the learning comes because junior high students, they're creative thinkers, they're curious learners, and they're ready to learn, but they need to feel safe. They need to feel accepted and valued in the classroom.